Hi, welcome to my YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to adapt this AK-47 Yugo M70 quad rail to fit your Type 81 rifle. This rail is six and a half inches long, weighs 250 grams, and much easier to modify than the Sega that was last featured in my YouTube video. And that is because this rail sits behind the front furl. So no modification needs to be done to the front, but the back, however, still needs to be modified and it's similar to the Sega. Because this rail is narrower than the Sega, you have to take off an eighth of an inch on either side and about inch and a half long. Eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch, and an inch and a half long. And at the bottom, this is to make room for the, for the trunnion. In the bottom, there's two curved pieces here. You need to, uh, to go in a depth of half an inch and remove those. And the trunnion would protrude from the rail. And as with the Sega, the caulking handle is a bit close to this rail. And you need to bevel this rail. Finally, drill a hole for the main hex screw. Okay. Next, I'll spray paint uh, the bright areas and then I'll show you how to install this on the rifle. So stay tuned. Okay, last night I spray painted the bright areas. And now I'm going to show you how to install this on the uh, Type 81 rifle. The back end of the uh, rail is secured by the main hex screw. To secure the front end, you don't need to make an adapter like you did with the Sega because I've found an innovative way to secure the front. Go to Home Depot and get yourself a dowel nut along with a quarter inch hex screw. Make sure the dowel is 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. And the reason why that is important because the dowel fits perfectly into the vent hole like this. However, the quarter inch hex screw doesn't fit perfectly into the uh, cleaning rod hole in the furrow you need to drill that a little bit bigger. Like that. Now it secures the front end. And the main hex screw secures the back end. Check to see if it wiggles and it doesn't. It's solid. Now put in the top cover. The top cover is secured by four smaller hex screws. So this is what an AK-47 Yugo M70 quad rail looks like on a Type 81 rifle. I think it looks pretty darn good. Remember when I said the Sega has two deficiencies and one of the deficiency is you can't use the iron sight with the top rail on. But with the Yugo it is possible with some modification and I'll show you why that is. If you look at the thickness of the rail of the Sega it's quite thin compared to the Yugo. Also, the Sega has only front support, none in the back. And the Yugo has front support and the back support, which allow you to deepen this groove 
which will allow you to use the iron sight with this on. So, in this case, it seems less is more. This being smaller, it's lighter, more attractive, and there's only one deficiency. And that is, unfortunately, you have to remove the wood from the handguard so you can install the top rail. When you're ordering this online, ensure that there's 10 vent holes on the bottom row and that there's, there's smaller holes, 3 eighths of an inch. Otherwise, this dowel will be too loose. So, thank you for joining me and please subscribe.